Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Adrian here, welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here today with a brand new video. So if you guys were interested in seeing the thrifting video for this particular haul, I'm going to have it linked right there and down below in the description box as well if you guys want to check that out. But if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, and vlogs, you guys are in the right place. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button to be notified when new videos do go up because I do post videos every single day. Don't forget to add me too on Instagram, it's Hadrian, just like spelled here, and check out my shop, it's Hadrian.com, where a lot of these items are going to be up for sale if anyone is interested. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this haul because I got some really great stuff, which I am really excited to share with you guys. Um, with the video when I found all this stuff, it's kind of like, um, a hodgepodge of a uh, couple of different days, but I think I thrifted all of these items I'm going to show you guys right now within, like, with, like, one day. So, here it is. Um, the first thing I have here is I have this beautiful Mark by Mark I believe this is called, um, the Mark by Mark Classic Q Yukita, I believe is the name. And I know it looks kind of like a black leather, but it's actually a very, very dark, uh, brown, like, dark espresso leather. Uh, I got this from Crossroads, $32.50. Um, yeah, it's in fantastic condition, just needed a little bit of a conditioning, and... I think it'll be good to go. So it's beautiful. I love this style from Marc Jacobs so much. Uh, it's very classic. It's a very classic silhouette. It's one of his most popular styles uh, from his collection. And yeah, this is one that he brings out every year. He just changes the color. He might change a couple little aspects of the bag, uh, but usually it's like in the same silhouette. And it's usually like, and it's like the same name. Um, but yeah, it's super cute and very, very excited to have this in the shop. I know you guys really like this style, so, um, that one was a cool find. Up next, this one was actually kind of a hot mess when I first got it. Um, if I remember, I'll post some before and after shots on here, but I, I have actually put them already up on Instagram. So if you guys already don't follow me on there, go over there and add me. Um, because I do post, like, before and afters of, like, handbag rehabs that I do, and, uh, I'll show you guys, like, I'll tell you guys how I do it, like, what, um, things I use to clean the bags. Uh, it's nothing really new. A lot of the things that, like, pretty much everything that I use are still the same items that I use, or have used in past handbag rehab videos, because when I check that out, I'll have the link as well for handbag rehabs. I know I don't, I haven't had any new handbag rehab videos. I promise I will film one very soon. But um, this one, it actually just turned out being really like dirty. Um, it had like marks just all over it and they just cleaned up beautifully. So like now it's pretty much all gone. Um, this is just a cute satchel by Michael Kors. It's kind of similar in shape to a Speedy, but more square. You can see, like, on the corners, like, the Speedy is more domed. This is definitely, um, a square shape, but it's just rounded at the corners. It's in a really cute bubblegum pink. Gold hardware it also has a really cute, um, lock and clochette. So this is actually, you can actually use that, um, on the corners right here. You can zip the zipper all the way down, put it through this little thing, and then you can lock it up and actually lock this bag, which is very adorable. And it also has an added back zipper pocket, which is very nice, because a lot of styles of this bag, um, no matter like what designer, I feel like they don't have a, a exterior pocket or anything, so it's very nice that this one has it. Uh, so yeah, Michael Kors. Um, this one, I got this one from 2nd Street, and I don't think I filmed when I went into that store, but they had, um, a couple pretty good things. This was one of them, and, uh, what was I gonna say? I believe this one was, like, $35 when I got it. So there's that. They always cut off the tags when they, like scan them and then they don't give them back, they just throw them away. So yeah, I, I, can't, I don't remember the price on that one. Um, up next, we have this beautiful Tory Burch satchel in a, like a tan color with gold hardware. This is, I believe, I think this might be one of, her, um, like her, like, older style. I think this is like, um, yeah, probably like, 
I don't know, like probably like 2000, I think it was like before 2013. Anyway, um, this is like an older style, but it's still in pretty good shape. It does have some marks on it. You can see these white marks right there. I think it's like paint or something. So I'm going to see if I can get it out. Uh, there is also definite darkening of the handles and what else? But $32.50. Um, so if I can clean this off, that would be fantastic. That would make me very happy. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with this guy. But $32.50 for this toy birch. It's still gorgeous though. I really like it. And I love a good satchel. And it's like you can take it off the crossbody strap. You can use it crossbody, carry it on your shoulder. It's just a very versatile bag and you can just use it for so many things. Um, up next, this is another bag I'm hoping to be able to just clean off really nicely, but this is a beautiful Todd's tote bag. The leather on this is amazing. It's so nice and supple and soft, and I just love the way that this bag hangs. Like, it just like, drapes beautifully, and this is also in kind of like a, like a beige, tanny kind of color. Um, I believe it has, it has silver hardware. Silver um, writing right there. It also does come with the original dust bag. And this bag was $65. There you go. So cute though. On here it says it's gray. But I feel like it's not really gray. It's more like a... It does have like gray tones. But I feel like it's more of like a beigey color-ish. Um, okay. Up next. Oh, these are not... I just, like, stuffed some stuff in here that wasn't from this haul. Oh, okay. This one was another really great, exciting find. Um, this one was also from Second Street. And I believe I got this bag for $60. This is a Tory Burtz, like a hobo shoulder bag. This one is in fantastic condition. It looks almost new. Um, very little wear at all. So it is a shoulder bag. You can actually extend this, but it doesn't extend long enough to be a crossbody. But um, look at the lining on this. It is beyond. It's like this beautiful magenta e color. Do you guys see that? It's so pretty. It has one pocket and then it has a really generous cell phone pocket. And I tested my iPhone XS Max in there and it has a thick OtterBox case as well as a pop socket and it fits in there with room to spare. So it's a very, very nice. Your phone fits in there comfortably. You're not going to struggle getting in and out. So it's really, really great. Um, and yeah, just a beautiful shoulder bag. Very nice. I like that. So really, really cute. Beautiful Tory Burch. Again, I believe that one was $60. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm like a hot mess. Alright, up next. I, wait, wait, oh uh, wait, I think I already showed you guys this bag in another video. I did. I'm just going to show it to you guys anyway because I really like this bag. But I did show this to you guys in another video. I think I just accidentally grabbed it. But um, it's a beautiful case spade bow tote. A beautiful white, like ivory, off-white leather with light gold hardware. Did you know that Kate Spade hardware is actually like um, gold plated? I believe it's like 14 karat gold plated. Really, really nice. Um, but, okay. Oh, okay. This one. <gasps> this one is a really good one. Now this one, the bag had a lot of marks on it. I managed to clean it up pretty well, 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 if I do say so myself. Um, and it is this Gucci, I believe it's the Gucci, Gucci, Guccissimo, Guccissima, Guccissima, um, tote in like a tan with gold hardware. It's super cute. Um, it's in pretty... It's pretty decent shape. Um, the marks, I was like, oh man. Like, I was scared of the marks, but I was like, you know what? For, like, it was a good enough price. I was like, I'm gonna get it, and, like, I'm just gonna try really hard to clean it. And, like, lo and behold, it cleaned up really, really well. Again, if I remember, I will post some before and after shots in here. But I did post them on Instagram for shirzies. Um, but the bag looks fantastic. It's so nice. Um, and if no one likes it, I think I'm gonna just definitely be using it and keeping it. If no one, 
no one likes it, but I got this one for about, I think it was $89, so $90, I believe. Um, the inside does need a little bit more TLC, so I'm going to see, um, I haven't really tackled the interior yet, but it has pen marks, it has darkening, but I mean, what's a couple pen marks, really, in the grand scheme of things. Um, uh, <laughs> well, as long as the outside looks pretty good, like, even if I couldn't get it any cleaner than this, like, the outside, I think, is already pretty fantastic um and I just need to touch up a little bit of the edge coating and then it'll be good to go but this is just a beautiful gucci tote bag gucci's gucci gucciissima tote bag gucciissima i like to say that really cute right very excited i can't believe i found a gucci bag this is really cute i'm gonna put it over there because i like it uh okay last but not least i have this baby and it came in a box just like this now um comment down below before I show you guys what it is and guess what you guys think this is so here's the box here's my hand it is about the size of my hand it is not a very big box at all but it is really fun what's inside um I'm very excited to share with you guys. Now, I don't know if I'm going to put this up in the shop or not. I And this is actually the second time that um, I have found this same exact bag, but it is in... It was in a different um, material. So... It's not in there. <laughs> but it's cool because it did come with like... Um, it did come with like the little... But it's called the bag, uh, dust bag and everything. Um, let me actually show you guys how much I paid for it because it's actually not like horrible. Two fifty, yeah. It usually goes for like, I think it goes like double that price um, online. Oh, where is it? I was actually using it, so <laughs> I had it like in here, but. Here it is. I actually forgot. I forgot the name of what this bag is called. Let me see if I have it um, saved in my phone. Because I do not remember the name of it. Yeah, of course I don't have it. Like, I literally have... What is wrong with me? I don't remember the name of the bag. <laughs> but um, it's just like a little crossbody like little pouch bag um again I do have this one in the fabric that I think it's like the mini mini canvas monogram um it's not like I don't know if the fabric is called mini lin or if I'm just like thinking of like the name of a bag uh, but I have like my stuff in it I have my wallet I have some receipts and I have some cash but it does um fit all this stuff very nicely a little card holder some cash some receipts uh, but yeah so here it is Louis Vuitton so stinking cute I like to like it's really cute like if you want to wear it kind of like a necklace like it just goes around your neck like this and it just like dangles really nice you can actually shorten the strap if you wanted, you can just like tie it up a little bit more and wear it shorter, or you can just wear it like this to wear it crossbody or around your neck. Um, and if you did want to, you can actually also use this as like a bag charm. Um, you can just kind of like tie it up and then put it inside itself, and like you know what I mean. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this, and that's why I love like mini bags because you can do a lot of like fun little things with them. So. Very excited to have found this guy. It's in pretty good condition, if I do say so myself. Um, there's a little bit of uh, marks in the lining, but hopefully I can get that out. Um, they don't seem to be too substantial. It's pretty much just these, like, like a little marks. But I don't know if it's getting washed out from the light or not. But, um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. I'm going to put my stuff back inside here before I lose this stuff. I don't know, I'm just going to misplace it and put it somewhere else. Uh, but that pretty much ends today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys had fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Say hi down below, especially if you guys are new. Welcome to the Thrift Squad. Let me know if you guys have found anything really cool recently. Because I always love hearing about your finds as well. And if you guys post any like cool items and stuff that you've seen, 
don't forget to tag me too on Instagram. It's Hedrian. I want to repost your things and share it with the rest of the thrift squad and you can share what your thrift treasures are with everyone else. And I always think that's really fun. I love it so much. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys are fun. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all later. Bye! Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm saying 17